five Leeds players who failed to live up to the hype. Roque Jr. A World Cup winner with Brazil in 2002, there were high expectations when Roque Jr. arrived on loan at Ellen Road in 2003. Unfortunately for everyone involved, the Brazilian's short spell in Yorkshire was a shambles. Roque Jr. was sent off on his home debut against Birmingham City and would play just seven games in a Leeds shirt. Oh well, at least he still got that World Cup winner's medal. Andy Gray. No, not the former Sky Sports commentator who said the horrible things about the woman. Gray made a name for himself in the 1996 League Cup final as an 18 year old. Leeds may have lost 3 0, but Gray was certainly a standout performer, and it looked as though he was going to carry on the family tradition after his father Frank Gray and uncle Eddie Gray both played for the club. Unfortunately for Gray, he was competing with the likes of Tony Yeboah, Rod Wallace, Brian Dean, and then Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank for a start up front. Leaving the club in 1998, Gray would return in 2012 and finally score his first Leeds League goal. Now age 39, Gray is the manager of Leeds under 18 side. Alex Mowat. The most recent player on this list, a few years ago it looked as though Mowat was going to be the next big midfielder to come out of Leeds' academy. Privy to a strike from distance, Mowat never really fit into various managers plans and is now at Barnsley where he managed to get sent off on his debut. Seth Johnson. Signed by Leeds for £7 million in 2001, Johnson was just one of many players who Leeds wasted money on in the early 2000s. His time at Ellen Road was plagued with injuries and Johnson would return to Derby in 2005. And finally, it's Thomas Brolin. The Swede was impressive at Euro 92 in the 1994 World Cup, meaning he looked like quite a handy signing when he arrived at Leeds in 1995. Unfortunately though, I think Leeds picked up the wrong player from the airport. Rowland's two years at Ellen Road was interrupted with loan spells at Zurich and Parma, and his contract was terminated in 1997. Retiring from the game in 1998, Brolin was voted the club's worst player in living memory by the fans in a 2003 BBC poll. As well as that, he ranked number two in the Times' poll of 50 worst footballers to grace the Premier League. So those are our five Leeds players who feel to live up to the hype. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.